What's up guys, it's Alpha Dog 1017 and today we are doing a universe mode let's play video. So this is my first one. So I already started a universe mode, but I was just gonna start off with um Monday Night Raw and just keep going down the list. And this is September, so we have nine champions pay-per-view for this month. And today we should start off with um you just want to start off with this or just start it over? Start the whole unit. Or you just want to keep it like this? Let's start it over so No, let's just keep it like this. Let's just keep it like... Alright, let's keep... We're going to keep it like this. I don't... Okay, okay. We're going to keep it like this. And... We're going to hit play matches. So this is our Monday Night Raw. So let's get started with our rivalry match. So it's, so it's my first universe mode, first uni universe mode match. So make sure you like and comment for your support, and make sure you hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoy this content. So let's get started with the New Day versus versus Cesaro and Tyson Kidd. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied by Kofi Kingston, representing the New Day from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 285 pounds, Big E. I you know, sometimes a superstar just has that look in his eye, stuff like that, and this so is one of those times. Once uh, these when here are done, I would go, do um, wonders for this guy's career. Start commentating, I can leave it to Michael Cole and the rest of his so yeah they do look ugly right there but whatever so let's go to the Tyson Kidd and Cesaro all right guys South for all 10 17 peace and I'm going to leave it with Michael Cole Jerry King Lawler and JBL and approaching the ring accompanied by Cesaro from Calgary Alberta Canada Weighing in at 204 pounds, Tyson Kidd. You can feel the intensity level inside the arena rising. This is what it's all about. Two competitors going head to head to decide which one is truly the best. What a night we have in store for you. Thank you for joining us. I'm Michael Cole alongside Jerry the King Lawler on what should be an amazing night of action. Yeah, and I don't know which match I'm looking forward to the most, Michael, but what I do know is that we're just moments away from kicking this thing off. Right out of the gate, we've got a huge match. Heck, every match tonight is huge. And he fails to connect with anything that time. Man, that was some miss, all right. I can feel the breeze all the way over here. Tell us about Big E. Definitely looking confident in this one-on-one -on -one environment. We're going to find out who's the better competitor, that's for sure. No gimmicks here, just some good old-fashioned one-on-one action. Oh, out of nowhere! A graduate of the famous Heart Dungeon in Calgary, Canada, Tyson Kidd has been one of the most exciting competitors to enter the squared circle. Tyson's been one half of the United Dude. States Tag Team Champions and the WWE Tag Team Champions. He also had a major WrestleMania moment at WrestleMania 26 when he gave a heart attack to Mr. Man off the top rope. What agility! Agility. Tyson Kidd gets out of that one. Nice move. He's too busy bragging and boasting the battle into this matchup. He didn't need a GPS to find the mark. Okay. Getting his attention with a vicious strike. 
Tyson is tough for sure. He suffered a terrible hyperextended knee injury and had to undergo surgery. Tyson spent much of 2013 physically rehabbing his repaired knee, but now he's back looking to tear up the WWE Championship ranks. Big E is really feeling it now. Inside the ring again. Yeah, and they should be. This is where the action needs to be. The single leg Boston Crab. Oh, man, a hole named after the Bean Town. And he lets him out. Well, he might have been losing some of his grip there anyway. He probably figured it would be better to release the hole now before his opponent could counter it. And Big E manages to reverse out of that one. Tyson Kidd is a hybrid athlete. He's so exciting to watch and comfortable in every area when it comes to competing in the ring. Kidd's thrilled crowds literally in every corner of the earth. He can do anything inside WWE's 20 by 20 foot ring. Well, hybrid is right, Cole. Tyson Kidd thrills audiences with his unparalleled agility and athleticism and keeps them on the edge of their seats with amazing counter holds. You can see anything in a Tyson Kidd match. He's showing no signs of letting up. The Big E splash. This one is in the books. Oh, and this one is painful. Quit running your mouth and let them do this thing. Look out. That was an impressive suplex. It's been known for many years that Tyson Kidd is one of the most... These two superstars are at a standoff here. Wait a minute. He needs to stay focused here. He shouldn't turn his back to his opponent during a match. Oh! Or that happens. That costly... Dis what a reversal. Big E with the excellent move to get out. The shoulders are down. Just making his presence felt there. That wild strike found nothing. What diabolical things are going through that mind right now? When you get in control like this, you want to throw everything at your opponent. And that could be what we're seeing here. God, there was nothing accurate about that attempt at offense. Oh, you're being too kind. Some people would use other words to describe what we just witnessed. The native of Calgary, Alberta, Canada is non-stop thrills once that bell rings. Sometimes Tyson Kidd moves so quickly, it's hard to call all of his moves during the course of a match. Kidd's multi-talented and looks to take the energy level to new heights each and every time he competes. Oh, submission! The hole's locked in! There's no escaping this! He looks absolutely unstoppable here. And there's the release. What's going to happen now? I'm scared to ask. Hey, come on. There's no need for this. He's got it locked in. Will this be it? This is not the position you want to be in. win. You want to talk about crowd pleasing? And here's some highlights from the matchup. I can't believe Here's your winner. A big singles victory here tonight. Hey, they both gave it their all.
The following Diva Contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, from Long Island, New York, Alicia Fox! Ah, this place is coming alive now! This one is gonna be... And approaching the ring, from North Ridge, California, Cameron! Oh, I can't wait to see this one. It's no mystery that the... And there's the bell. Oh, Michael, this is going to be fun to watch. Oh, Michael, she's one of my favorite divas. She's so good at being bad. Ah, oh, the reversal by Alicia Fox. The face and head are taking a great deal of punishment here. Oh, talk about getting flattened. Give us your thoughts about Alicia Fox. What hasn't been said already? Everybody's talking the unbelievable potential we're witnessing here. Let's just sit back and enjoy. And again, the mind games are played. Narrowly avoids the attack there. Alicia Fox's agility never ceases to amaze me, Cole. She gets that big boot up so high, there's times that I think she might be able to crack Big Show in the chin. High risk. Oh, man, from the high rent district. I wouldn't know what that's like. Is there nothing she can't do? Oh, the reversal by Alicia Fox. Uh-oh, climbing the turnbuckle. This is a level of destruction no one was expecting. I certainly didn't expect to see this kind of damage. Alicia Fox is unquestionably one of the most nimble competitors to ever grace the WWE ring, but don't sleep on her quickness either. We've seen her hit that Northern Lights suplex out of nowhere. And with perfect form too, Cole. It's not easy holding that bridge as long as she does, but she pulls it off flawlessly. Here's the cover. And the shoulder's up. And the match continues. I love this. Not today, too fast. Even more damage to the face. And that face looked like it had been damaged enough already. Well, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you could find yourself in a world of hurt. I've talked to several people who think she's bitten off more than she can chew here. I can't say that I agree. Hey, JBL, if I were you, I'd grab hold of your hat over there. Alicia Fox can snap at a moment's notice. Incredible. This has to be it. This. Oh, man. That's it. Did you hear that? I'm just glad I didn't feel it. Oh, and Cameron's fired up here. There's no question about Cameron's ability and, of course, her killer instinct. But something that I'm wondering is can her stamina hold up? We'll see if this total diva has what it takes to see this one through. Looking fresh out there, you're not going to lose many matches when you're competing at full health. John, I see you have taken King's earlier advice and now have your hat safely in your clutches. Are you kidding me, Michael? Of course I do. Gonna end it with a DDT. That's a certainly a good way to take an opponent out.
Here's your winner, Alicia Fox. Extremely impressive win, guys. Wow, you know. The following Diva Contest is scheduled for one fall. Making your way to the ring, from Norwich, England, the NXT Women's Champion, Paige. Wow, this arena has come completely unglued. to see this one. We're just moments away from one-on-one -on -one action here. Get used to seeing Paige in a WWE ring, King. I don't think she's going anywhere for quite a while. Oh, I agree completely, Cole. This girl's special. She's going to be making waves in the Divas division for years to come. Oh, out of nowhere. Oh, that poor Divas face. So, what do you think? What's your analysis of Summer Rae? Well, even though the title's not on the line in this one, you know she wants to get the win and build some momentum. That's someone who gets it. Someone who knows the value of hard work and dedication. Good night! And Paige finds a way out! Quick thinking to avoid that. Oh, that's one way to make your lunch come back up. You know, Summer Rae is so dedicated to defeating her opponents that she actually utilizes three different finishing moves. Summer uses her classical dance pivot to nail opponents with a spinning heel kick, her leg strength to drive them to the mat with an inverted leg drop, and her technique to slap on the dreaded Indian Deathlock submission. And here she goes, back inside. That was rough. Oh, wait, nice reversal. Oh, what a reversal from Summer Rae. I'm not sure if any competitor, male or female, have had three finishing moves to choose from to polish off an opponent, but Summer Rae does, and each one is more dangerous than the next. It gives opponents a lot to think about before signing on the dotted line. Well, this is a classic example of action speaking louder than words. Summer Rae's three finishing moves says to me that she's looking to change the landscape of the Divas division forever. Not today, too fast. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. Okay, now she's just showing off. And again, the mind games are played. I hope you know CPR, Michael, because she just took my breath away. And she drops like a sack of potatoes. having a real hard time getting back to her feet. During her time in WWE, Summer Rae has assaulted every diva she's crossed paths with. The calculated vixen has shown when the situation is to her advantage, she will launch her... And Summer Rae getting it done. It might be a while before she finds her footing now. Oh, look at the emotion. Could be dull, achy, sharp, or stabbing. This might be a case of all the above. I agree. Dull, achy, sharp, and stabbing. 
Good Lord, that wasn't even close. So that's what it's like. Absolutely devastating move by Summer Rae. Yeah, there may be no getting up from that one. When Summer makes her way, and will this be it? It may be. Two, three. What a tremendous victory. What a physical match. Uh-oh. Look at that stare. Oh, no! Come on. You won the match. Enough's enough. The following Diva Contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, representing the Bella Twins, from Scottsdale, Arizona, the Divas Champion, Nikki Bella. You can feel the intensity level inside the arena rising. And approaching the ring, from the Bay Area, California, Eva Murray. Oh, this match is going to be exciting. I can almost guarantee it. Only on Monday nights. There you go. There's the bell, and here we go. We're all along for the ride on this one, but make no mistake about it, we're going to have a winner. And these ladies look ready to tear each other apart. tonight there must be serious injuries no kidding this is going to need some serious medical attention Eva Marie with a nice reversal look at Nikki Bella pouring on the aggression look at these two giving it their all there's absolutely no quit in them tonight I don't think she wants to do this on the outside. But maybe she does, King. She's pretty rough and tough. I've seen redheads before, guys. But Eva Marie takes it to a whole new level. Oh, we're talking neon red. Wow. That wild strike found nothing but empty air that time. <laughs> Man, that's what you call swinging for the fences and missing. Oh, out of nowhere. Oh, they couldn't find a home for that one. Well, it certainly wasn't due to a lack of trying, Michael. That might have hurt her ego more than anything else. Oh, what a counter by lovely Nikki. From the top. She's a house of fire now. Guess what, King? I agree with you again. Eva Marie does take red hair to a whole new level, although sometimes we've seen her act more like a prototypical blonde on Total Divas. Oh, man, Michael. I tell you, when Eva Marie messed up doing ring introductions for 3 and B, almost fell off my chair. I've never heard a ring announcer make such a mistake. And I've seen Tony Jimmel. I don't think she's going to be able to stand after that. Quick thinking to avoid that. It's difficult to dispute Nikki Bella's claim that she and her sister are the most beautiful divas in WWE. We know Nikki's in peak physical condition and fearless, but now her energy level has somehow surpassed her mean streak. What a counter that was! Not today, too fast. Nikki Bella doing a great job of turning that around. Whoa, how's this for taking care of business? 
Eva Marie's redefining her position within the Divas division with this effort. She's going to get some extra energy in there tonight, and it doesn't look like she'll be slowing down anytime soon. For as little ring time as Eva Marie has had, I'm pretty impressed with what she can do in there. The intensity of her backbreaker particularly impresses me. Eva Marie looking for the pin. And she kicks out. Man, she's not just beautiful, she's tough too. Mm, Nikki needs to regroup now. She's trapped. Guess what, King? I agree with you again. Eva Marie does incredible counter. Another amazing singles contest. These two never cease to entertain the WWE Universe. Oh, what a counter by lovely Nikki. Quick thinking to avoid that. Oh, wait, nice reversal. Oh, Nikki hit the mat hard. Got the same move over and over. This is relentless. I am getting tired of watching this. Do something different. Whoa! Whoa! The Shiranui. Brutally painful. Monkey flips. Flip. She's got the cover. And a kick out. And that's all that matters. This match continues. It looks like there's some more fight left in this diva. on Dream Street. It is so hard to stop that kind of strength. Whoa. With action like this, it's no wonder Raw has been around as long as it Two. has. Three. Eva Marie with a nice reversal. Seems like Nikki Bella comes up with a new offensive move each week. <laughs> I just hope at some point my offer of being a training partner is accepted. I am king after all. Oh my! What a wild attempt at striking your opponent. I don't know if she could have been further off the mark. <laughs> that was like a haymaker. Like she was taking that big home run swing. See the confidence just beaming from her right now. I'm not sure if she knows what planet she's on after that. What a move! What a smart move! One of the most impactful finishers. The shoulders are down! With a move like that, she's just trying to insult her opponent. Hang on. The Shiranui. Brutally painful. There's the finishing move. Don't know if you have anything. The shoulders are down. One, two, three. We've seen Eva Marie. Here's your winner, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what happened during that incredible matchup. I can't believe what we saw during this one. You want to talk about it? I can't believe what we just saw. Huh? Here's your winner, Eva Murray.
The following tag team contest is an elimination tag team match. On the way to the ring, residing in Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, Damian Mizdow. The combination of these two competitors looks nearly un... And his tag team partner, residing in Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, The Miz! Man, the tag team scene has been on fire of late here at WWE, and I think we're about to see another hot one. And their opponents, the WWE Tag Team Champions, Sin Cara and Kalisto, the Lucha Dragons. Man, both of these teams are determined to walk away with a win. Something's got to give. You'd be hard pressed to find a better tag team match than we're about to see here. And there's the bell. We're here live, and this match has begun. In tag team action, it's about which duo can work together better in order to score the victory for your team. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. I can't blame him. Keep it in the ring. Ow. Ooh. Well, What's your take right now on Sin Cara? Here's somebody who can do it all, whether it's in solo competition or as part of a team, which we're seeing here tonight. Oh, he missed. Oh, nobody home that time. That'll leave you dizzy in a hurry. Wow, what an incredible crossbody. I'm not sure I can watch this. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. Nothing good is going to happen out here on the floor. You know, and speaking of Damian Sandow's abilities, unless he's doing the talking himself, you have to acknowledge his impressive combination of brains and brawn. The enlightened one has a high ring IQ and strength and knowledge of holes that make no mistake about it. Sandow's a competitor. I mean, the back of the cranium is just being pummeled. This guy is going to have a permanent headache. And it's Damian Sandow with the reversal. The quick reversal there by Sin Cara. Damian Sandow putting it on him right now. When we look at the Enlightenment, Damian Sandow's array of skills, albeit quite vast, you have to be aware of his unique mix of intellect mat wrestling and grapples as well as brawling sandow won't hesitate to ignite a fight and throw down oh you're right damian sandow's never shy about professing his skills which i guess is a skill in itself and he makes opponents pay for their supposed ignorance with calculated attacks that are swift powerful and can render an opponent completely helpless are you seeing this the Luchador's really getting himself going here. I've got a funny feeling we could see Sin Cara take off soon. And there's the count. Extra slow getting back to his base here. The man's connecting there with a good shot. You know, Cole, Sin Cara could end this match with any move at any moment. He's really that good. But it's his top rope senton that is proven to be most impactful. 
Really showing some acrobatic expertise here. Oh, wait, nice reversal. Very impressive. He gets the tag. Hey, nice move! That was an absolutely incredible move. You're right, Kang. We've seen Sin Cara put opponents away with a series of different moves. But it seems like the Senton bomb is the move he goes to most. The one he really trusts in big situations. Yeah, and just watching Sin Cara glide through the air and route to landing the Senton, that's a thing of beauty. Attacking from the top. Watch out! Oh, what's he gonna do? Whoops! the emotion oh out of nowhere and the taunting continues we're looking at complete domination here Damian Sandow gets out of that one nice move oh yep there's the reversal by Kalisto oh what devastation you can't get up from that, can you? I don't even want to think about what a third time will sound like. The Miz did whatever was necessary to follow his dream and become a WWE superstar, and it didn't end there. It wasn't too long ago that Miz headlined WrestleMania as WWE champion against John Cena, and the awesome one left WrestleMania champion. Yeah, you're right, Miz did follow his dream. It's funny you brought up the Miz headlining WrestleMania, given what happened when Miz and I fought on Raw for the title and the part you played in that hole. But as an objective broadcaster, Miz lived a dream only few can make a reality. He entered WrestleMania champion and exited WrestleMania champion. The superplex, that's what you get from climbing the rope, folks. No kidding, that's a long way down and a sudden stop. There's no doubt The Miz deserves credit for never giving up on his dream. It certainly makes that much more impressive when you add to the fact that it became WWE. There it is, the Snapmare Driver. Look out, he can't drive. Going for the cup. He makes the tag. And he finally gets out of the ring. He took an incredible pounding there. He's not going to beat you with that move, but he's going to make sure you feel it. It's an amazing atmosphere in this arena tonight. Oh, well, you're right. Big fight feel here. No quick pen attempt here. When you talk about The Miz following his dream against all odds, and you think about everything, Becoming a WWE superstar, becoming WWE champion, and headlining WrestleMania that was hosted by The Rock. Well, that's impressive. As much as it pains me, I tip my crown to The Miz. Oh, big DDT. In comes The Miz. Man, he's still down after that move. I almost wonder if his bell got seriously wrong there. And yeah, the ref starts to count. Executed perfectly. And there are the ropes. Hey, somebody's having soul for dinner. Seeing Cara is a force within this ring. That type of speed is so hard to contain. Whether The Miz is playing by the rules or having fun breaking them. WWE fans know that he is one of the best talkers in the business and can back up what he says in that ring. And seeing Cara nails it. An early pin attempt. Come on, Rip. Count. Not today. Too fast. Quick thinking to avoid that. Seeing Cara is scaling the ropes. Look out, boy. Look out! Hey, the shoulders are down! Oh, that'll knock the wind out of you. Well, the men certainly had built.
built a reputation on saying what he's going to do and then going out there and doing it. The fans know it, and the shoulders are down. Momentum is firmly on the side of Sin Cara. The longer this match goes, the more moves like that will add up. Just getting worn out. Austin Carter showing some adversity right now. And Damian Sandow reverses it. One. The Miz really going to town right now. Two. Going for the big one. The skull-crushing finale is going to end it. I can't believe it, but that is very painful. We've seen plenty of high flyers over the years, Cole. And in the ropes, and that may have been the only escape. Not today. Too fast. Oh, wait. Nice reversal. His partner's being punished, and he's seen it up. Look at him, Michael. I mean, those moves have really started to add up. And The Miz picking up some steam here, showing why he's the most must-see superstar in the WWE. Something that's been overlooked is The Miz can hurt you. In that arm is now in an extremely compromising position. Thinking about it now, I'd have to agree with you, Kenny. You see, Carr's awe-inspiring aerial assault certainly rivals that of Jimmy Snuka, Rob Van Dam, Rey Mysterio, and the other greats that have taken to the sky here in WWE. The most agile warrior in the ring looking to end it with the Salida Del Sol. No kidding, this could be it. The Miz with a reversal. Don't sleep on the Miz. He can strike at any time. How much damage did that do? A lot from the looks of it. Might have to eat intravenously after that assault. And he might need an IV, too. When this guy's on, look out. King Kalisto's innovative offense is unlike anything. Great counter. The tag is made. Showing an aggressive side here. He is just getting busted up. Oh, they're taking a risk here. That's how you win matches. He catches them with the X handle. It looks like all four competitors are going at it. This is what I like. Uh-oh. A textbook move. Uh, going to the top, high risk. We've talked a bit about police agility, I'd say, is equally amazing, particularly when he takes to the air and starts contorting his body in ways never thought imaginable. Does this guy remind you of him? And a kick out. Uh, the kick out's all that's saved him. This match goes on. Maybe that near fall will teach Damien a little humility. And there's the count. He's simply reminding him that he's here. We're looking at complete domination here. The chest cavity can only withstand so much abuse before it collapses. I hope we don't see that here. And you couldn't be any more right about Kalisto. And there's the reversal. He's pulling out all the stops tonight. here let's check them out let's see what happened i can't believe well, i don't know how you can pick it 
Here are your winners, Damien Mizdow and The Miz. You want to talk about... The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Brooksville, Florida, weighing in at 234 pounds, Bo Dallas. Wow, what a thunderous ovation from this crowd here tonight. second and listen to this reaction this is unbelievable this guy's a stud you can feel the electricity running through this arena this is going to be some battle one-on-one -on -one, mano a mano and what a great opportunity this is for these guys to build momentum finding a groove here with a 180, Bo Dallas, the reversal. Oh, out of nowhere. The back region taking the brunt of the punishment here. Well, taking a look at Bo Dallas, what's the lowdown here? Looking fresh right now, which is good. You gotta wonder how much longer that can last, though. Oh, wait, nice reversal. People have been wanting to see these guys go at it for a long time, and by the sound of this crowd, I think they're getting what they wanted. Oh, wait, nice reversal. Quick thinking to avoid that. Watching this beating, we can only wonder what kind of attack is next. If I were this guy, I'd stick with this attack. Not today, too fast. Man, that one rocked him. Just making his presence felt there. Thank you for spending your Monday night with us. After seeing what we have in store, I'm sure you won't be disappointed. One offense, both Dallas is showing at this point. What an offensive show by both Dallas. Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. Not a lot of spring left in his step right now. This might be it. And the shoulder's up now. That's a kick out. Nice. There's no keeping this guy down tonight. Bo Dallas can harness the inspiration from his believers and bring his attacks to another level when he decides to. Oh, my. Put it in the books. This one's got to be over now. Going for the, and he escapes with a kick out. There's going to be a lot of offense in this match. Wouldn't have it any other way. That's what I love to see. Look at a kick. And a kick out. And that's all that matters. This match continues. I think we know. Oh, boy. The RKO. That should do it, Cole. And the 
shoulders up in time. Well, as long as he's up before that three count, that's all that matters. I can't believe it. He just won't go away. That shot. With action like this, it's no wonder Raw has been around as long as it has. There can only be one top dog here in the WWE. Incredible counter! Oh, looking to put an end to this one. The shoulders are down! And it's up. We got the shoulder up. Wow! What a display of heart and determination! He's pressing all the right buttons now. He almost makes that look easy. For the 180, both Dallas, the reversal. You can see him struggling to stand after all the damage he's taken. he's known for. Yeah, you're right about that. He's made a name for himself with this. Like I said, those moves don't win the match in one go, but they add up. And boy, have they added up in this one. If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly real fast. Oh, man. We got a cover. Thank you for choosing to watch. The ridiculous maneuver by Bo Dallas. Going for the cover. It looked like his whole neck just crumbled there. Maneuvers like that put everybody in danger. No kidding, that's awful. inside the ring now. I can't blame him. Keep it in the ring. There's the pin. Ken is upon a kick out. Two. Thinking to avoid that. What a reversal. Oh, out of nowhere. He's showing no signs of letting up. Take a look at what's going on in there. This show of ability might bother some, but it is impressive. What force. Moves like that can upset your opponent more than hurt them. Oh, <laughs> what a shot. That did some serious damage. You can't take too many of those and expect to be in the match much longer. If you want to learn about Raw's most dark, she blows the RKO. Who do you think you are, Captain Ahab? One, two, three. What a victory! What a match! Oh boy, that was a spectacular performance. We may be looking at the match of the year. There was no love lost in that match. And oh, that was a match for the record books. The WWE Universe will be buzzing about this one for a while.
Here's your winner, Dangerous! Hearing every bit of that victory here tonight. I think it's safe to say, King, that he's not at 100% after that brutal assault before the match started. Yeah, I think that's safe. So damaging. Oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you could find yourself in a world of hurt. One offense Luke Hartman is showing at this point. And so, what are your thoughts right now on Titus O'Neil? Definitely looking confident in this one-on-one -on -one environment. We're going to find out a lot here tonight. Head-to-head, -to -head, no excuses. Let's get it on. Oh, wait, nice reversal. Holding out right to the face. Not today, too fast. And here goes Luke Harper. I think just by looking at Titus O'Neil, it's clear that he's the real deal. Titus is a beast in the ring whose power and size dominates opponents. One of the most impressive things about Titus is his speed. I can hear the impact from here when he impales an opponent with one of his attacks. Is this it? The discus clothesline is going to end it. I think you're right, Cole. This one's history. There it is. The finisher. This could all be over right now. Can he score the pin? One, two, three. There's your winner, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, they threw everything they had at each other in this match. Here's your winner, Luke Harper!